Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Belfang UV5R X3 Tri-Band HD. Stay tuned for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9 VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the image radio community. So if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Today we're at the Edgar Gas and Steam Engine Show in Edgar, Wisconsin. And um, at large events like this, it's always good to have some radio communications so, with your party so that uh, you can split up or if you get separated, you can uh, get reconnected. But uh, at large events, sometimes it can be hard to find a clear frequency. So uh, you might want to consider using something such as the Baofeng UV5RX3. This is a tri-band HT. It has uh, two meters, uh, the 220 band, and also 70 centimeters all in one radio. And what's great about 220 is that um, not a whole lot of activity on it, so you're almost guaranteed to have your own personal private frequency. So let's take a little bit of a deeper look at the uh, Baofeng UV5R X3 Tri-Band HT. I'm a bit of a 220 aficionado, but decent 220 equipment can be hard to come by. The 1.25 meter band has some unique properties, blending the propagation advantages of the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. So 220 radios and repeater systems tend to have better range and coverage than similar VHF and UHF systems. With that said, I was excited when Radio Oddity approached me to take a look at their new handheld, the Baofeng UV5RX3. The UV5RX3 is a tri-band radio with coverage on the 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and 1.25 meter or 222 megahertz band. By all respects, the UV5RX3 is like any other Baofeng UV5R series radio. It has a familiar case design, although the Radio Oddity version adds some snazzy trim, but it has the standard list of features including 128 channels, dual watch function, FM broadcast radio reception, CTCSS, DCS, tone burst, and DTMF calling, frequency and channel scan, 5 and 1 watts of transmit power, box, and of course, a tricolor display. New to this radio is the tri-band function, which includes operation on the two amateur 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and 1.25 meter bands. That's great for uh, news for 220 lovers like myself, but there is a bit of caveat. While the radio works on all three bands, the stock antenna will not. So Radiotity includes a separate 220 antenna in the box, and you'll have to switch out the dual band antenna for the 220 antenna if you want to work on that band. Both of the antennas look quite similar, so you need to look at the bottom to see which band each antenna is for. This is kind of goofy, so I picked up the Nagoya NA320A tri-band antenna. The Nagoya is a great aftermarket antenna, but at 17 and a half inches long, it's kind of unwieldy for this diminutive radio. What's nice about Radio Oddity's Baofeng UV5RX3 radio is that since it has the same form factor and case as other Baofeng radios, it's compatible with all the accessories, such as the programming cable, speaker mics, earpieces, and high capacity batteries. That's kind of nice, because if you have multiple Baofeng radios, you can use the same charger, saving space on the shelf. Programming the radio is pretty easy. You can download the UV5RX3 programming application from the Radio Oddity site, or better yet, use Chirp to program the radio. I went the Chirp route, plugging in the radio, reading the program file from the radio, and then cutting and pasting the frequency list from one of my other radios into the UV5RX3. With a couple of quick edits for the 220 band, I was on the air in no time. And on-the-air controls are the same as other Baofeng radios. The buttons are in the same location and operation is similar to every other model. That's good news if you're used to a Baofeng. This radio will feel comfortable in the hand. So let's get down to the good and the bad. The good is inclusion of the 1.25-222 MHz band. The 220 band needs more operators on it, and this radio makes getting on this band accessible and affordable. Also good is compatibility with most other Baofeng accessories, batteries, and chargers. Finally, it's great that the radio can be programmed with Chirp, getting you on the air faster. Now for the bad. The radio only has 128 channels. This may not matter for most people, but you can sure fill up those channels fast if you live or travel in an urban area. 
And speaking of urban areas, the radio is more susceptible to interference as it uses direct RF sampling receive, which lacks the filtering you'll find in a more conventional super heterodyne receiver. But that's a shortcoming with all of these Chinese radios. Also, you're going to need to swap antennas for the 220 band. So final word on Radio Oddity's Baofeng UV5RX3 is that this is an affordable radio, and I'd recommend picking one up just so you can get on the 220 band, especially if you have a 220 repeater in your neighborhood. As for myself, I'm going to add this to my camping kit so that I have a second radio when I travel, and with it, having 220 is going to be a bonus for me. For more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing to the videos will get will keep you notified on when new videos are produced. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.